free Stood a man who was perfect and clean Oh, but he wore such a heavy burden See, he bore just for you He was born, but they laid him in a manger. He didn't have what this world could afford. Oh, not once did he cry. He just lifted his eyes. Said, I Listen at this. As they walked him up Calvary's mountain, he heard them all cry, crucify. As the blood flowed from his They drove those nails. I could hear him say, I carry this cross for you. Yes, he did. so much. Great job. Beautiful song. Have you introduced our band? You sure I don't have know it. their name. Oh, you don't? Well, let me introduce you to them. Okay. Well, this is, uh, where did I start? This well, is the big one. We call him the big one. This is Charles Scott. He plays a harmonica. He sings. He does anything I can get him to do, folks. Give him a great big hand. Another big one over there at the piano. Too. Hey, <laughs> no, nah, it's hey, 
These old boys, they, they understand me. They know I'm crazy. But anyway, this is Mr. Jim Williams. All the way from the Funiac, would you give him a great big hand? All the way over here on the rhythm guitar. This happened to be my wife's cousin. He ain't a bit of kin to me, so don't lay him to me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding you. No, this is, this is my wife's cousin long years ago. In fact, he, he's the one that in, inspired me to even start playing one of these things. And then when Jimmy come along, he inspired me to quit. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> No, but he, he write, he's a good songwriter. He sings a lot of good songs, and he didn't sing any tonight, but we're going to get him up here one night and let him sing some more for you. That's Mr. Olean Casey from Ebro. Would you give him a good hand? He's also got a little uh, place down at Ebro behind his house there where they have open mic ever when, Olean. Morning. night. You can go over there, and if you sing, want to sing, just tell him you want to sing. He'll let you do it. He even let me come. Think of that. That's a good thing. But this young man right here, he, had, he played one of the awesomest lead guitars you ever heard. Sounds great. I'll tell you what, I love the melody on this song. That's Mr. Jerry Goodson all the way from Panama City. Uh, I love the melody on that guitar, not your song. Yeah, thank you. Do I know you, sir? No, I don't know you. Okay, over there on the bass guitar, you'll never find a better bass player than this man is right here. He's all the way from Grand Ridge, Florida, Mr. J. Newsom. That's you, boy. Hey, you don't think he can play this thing now? I could show you. Yeah, are you prepared? Yeah, you ain't prepared. I told you what I was going to do now. You better get it together. I tell you what, I was, it was up here when we had our steel guitar show. Mr. Doug Jernigan, one of the finest steel players, give me a tell you, he's ever great stage with. And he did a jazz number up here. It was unbelievable. That man hit ever note on that bass guitar that that fella hit on that steel guitar. He blowed me away. And one night I'm going to give you a sample of that. I told him you better start getting it together because I'm going to put him on the spot if you don't. But that is a fine bass player right there. What about this drummer here, folks? Do you think maybe he can sing a song or two? Hey, these guys, Artie, Dustin, all of them have got some CDs out front now if you don't carry them home with you. Just go ahead and get all you want. I don't know. They'll probably charge you, though. But, yeah. But they do have some CDs out front. And, you do, and uh, Danny Howell, he's got some out there. But anyway, this fellow right here writes songs. He sang some of his songs right here. And he, he's all up in Nashville, him and Artie both. And one of these days, we're going to say, I got my start at Gillies. You watch and see. <laughs> anyway, this is Mr. Dustin Worley. Don't he do an awesome job? <laughs> he's from Slocum, Alabama. Hey, I want to know how you enjoy my new MC tonight. <laughs> Songwriter, singer, guitar player. Cowboy hat wearing joker, I'll tell you right now. This is Artie Rodriguez, deputy sheriff. I got to treat him good. He can lock me up now. Artie Rodriguez. Nice. Are you nice. with us? <laughs> but I don't. Right here, I'm going to tell you what. Now, I, hey, if I sound like I'm bragging on this guy, you know what? You're absolutely right. He's one of the best steel players I've ever seen. He, he actually, to God, I went to his house. He'd come to my house. He tried his best to get me to play it like he does, and he ain't done it yet. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I've been listening to this guy play a steel guitar. I never remember the first, never forget the first time I heard him was the first, I believe it was about the first Possum Day Festival they had in Warsaw. He was up there playing. I told my wife, I said, I'm going to find out who he is, and he's going to show me some of that stuff he's doing on that guitar. <laughs> and he has, and me, he and I have become great friends, one of the best friends I've ever had, I believe, ladies and gentlemen. He is one of the most loyal fellas and, and, and does exactly what he tells you he'll do. And I don't think you can find a better new musician nowhere than Jimmy Powell, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Sweet Gum Head, Florida.
This is my lovely wife. She and I goes all the way back to years. whenever she used to go to school and I was out of school and I'd follow the school bus home, she'd say, oh my God, there's that child Gilly following us. <laughs> no, she sure didn't say that, that's for sure. But anyway, March the 28th was 48 years I got the awesome pleasure of being married to this lady. Greatest thing ever happened to me in life outside the Lord Jesus Christ and my kids. But anyway, I'm Charles Dilly. We're going to close out this little old show here tonight with something that we've never done and may not ever do it again. But let's see what happens. I don't think y'all will hang us if we don't get it just right. Are you ready, Sonny? Let's see what we can do. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our trouble. He will. Hold it, hold it, Charles. We got something going on here. Ain't suiting me. <laughs> Now's been, the time. Been ringing. Yeah. He. Yeah, he did it. You know, while we got a little break here, I'd like to give y'all a report about my grandbaby. Praise the Lord. She's, she's doing so much better. She was in the hospital. She had the flu. And that when we came back off of our um, cruise, that's the first thing that hit me was that Gabby was in the hospital. But thank God she's better. I was with her this week. And uh, God is good. God is good. And I just praise him for taking care of her. Let's try it again and see what happens this time. No. <coughs> <laughs> I'm giving you one more try, and that's it, buddy. Now let us have, have a little talk, talk with Jesus. Jesus. Let us tell, tell him all about our trouble. He will hear our faintest cry, cry, and he will answer by. And by hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> Let's go to Tell me why you looking at me <laughs> like that. He got a right to look. <laughs> hey, y'all think this ain't hey, this is a joke. Is it funny? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know what's going on this here. You got that where you had night. it this evening? <laughs> it's in East. Ain't it East? <laughs> One more time. Well, we do something we know. Uh, that good hey, start off, uh, uh, walk through this world with me, uh, Jimmy. <laughs> and what key do I do that in? <laughs> F. Walk through this world with me Go where I go Share all my dreams with me I need Lord, I've seen for you for a long, long time. Now that I found you, new rising. Come take my hand and walk through this world with me, Mr. Jimmy Fowler.
Why don't you give it up for Mr. Jerry Goodson over there? yourself right here at Gilly tonight. Tell all your friends and neighbors and we'll be right back here next Friday night. Thank each and every one of y'all for coming and we look forward to seeing you next time. God bless you. Have a safe trip home.